Get bored, man. I'll love you. I'll everybody said we get Monday morning. And a good start to your year. Really enjoyed this sermon yesterday. I feel like the pastor made several good points. My favorite being the second point. Um, we will all go through the storms. My favorite statement he made was peace is the presence of Jesus, not the absence of the storms. I really feel like I connected with this this point. Um, I recently went through a storm. Um, I won't get into the details, but the situation with my car insurance, it had went the way the devil wanted it. It was going to financially destroy us. Um, I was torn up, nervous, scared. And I remember peace is the presence of Jesus, not the absence of the storms. Um, so thankful we got Jesus to go to to take care of our problems. Definitely breaths upon peace. It's just, it's just unmeasurable. Um, the story he used was the disciples in the boat. After Jesus came across and said he could meet him on the other side. Uh, the verse that matches the second one was Matthew 14, 24. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea. Also waves. The wind was contrary. Uh, I can't imagine how these guys were feeling. I'm sure they were scared. The boat was going to flip. They were going to drown. Dark, I'm sure. Um, I've been terrified. To me, it shows that no matter if you're a disciple, if you're a pastor, if you're a preacher, uh, Sunday school teacher, or just a congregation in the pews, um, you're going to face struggles. You're going to face storms. Jesus is there to help you. Peace is in the presence of Jesus. Um, he says, and I get this turned over. John 16, 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulations. He ain't here, he ain't saying you might have tribulations. It says you shall have tribulations. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. I mean, to me, if you give him the problem, he's already beat it. Um, but you have to give him the problem. It's already beat. You can take it upon yourself. Or not, you're going to mess it up. But um, he's already beat it if you let him have control of it. Another verse I like was Isaiah 43 2. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. He's going to be right there with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. When you go through your troubles, when you go through your fires, when you go through Storms. He's going to be right there with you. Your boat's not going to flip. You're not going to drown. He's going to take care of you. Um, I, to sit back and watch your work is, is amazing. Um, in Romans 8 28, he says, If we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God, to them who are the call according to his purpose. Um, really believe this, uh, the situation I had um, with the insurance, he not only took care of the problem I had, but he made it better. Um, he not only took care of my problem, I'm now going to pay less my insurance than I did before the problem. Um, to sit back and watch, the, to watch God work is, is amazing. I hope I never lose side of watching him work. Not, I mean, not only just give it to him, let him do it, but sit back and watch him. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, I don't see how you couldn't come to tears. I mean, give him all the praise you can give him. Uh, I'm speechless right now. Just think about what, what happens. Uh, I want to thank y'all for the time. I want to, I love you all. I love Mount Olive Church. Pray for you every day.